Hey boys and girls, all right, we are back. So we got a lot done on that last video on this uh, Rojo sign. So I got all of the cleanup done, all of the carving is done now. So now I got to shape the ends. I'm just going to do a round over on the ends. And uh, there's a lot of different ways to do this on the small ones. I use uh, just a little disc, uh, you know, uh, combo belt disc sander. But on bigger ones like this, that, that isn't real convenient. I just make my mark, and then I'm going to use my belt sander. Again, a lot of people use a, a jigsaw on this, or a bandsaw, or a scroll saw. For me, I'm pretty used to using a, a belt sander. So I'm going to give that a few seconds to dry, and then we'll come back and we'll uh, round those corners. Okay, so I'm just using my belt sander, like I said before, uh, I've got the 40 grit belt on there, and I'm just going to uh, try to hold that thing uh, pretty much 90 degree angle to the front surface and see if I can get that thing rounded. <laughs> Okay, so now if I was if I was making a piece of furniture, guys, or I was doing a tabletop, I wouldn't do it this way. But this is just a sign. So if, if that angle is just somewhere close, if that round over is somewhere close, it's plenty good enough for a sign. Again, if I'm making furniture or something like that, I wouldn't suggest to do it like this. I'd find another. I'd get one of those little. Um, corner rounding jigs and do it with a trim bit you know there's tons of different ways to do it this is just the easiest way for me and i've done this for so many years this is the way i do it all right so i'm going to do the other three corners then we'll come back and we'll move on to the next step all right boys and girls so i have got uh, my little cordless i don't use this a lot but this is a perfect situation where this really comes in handy, not having the cord to go around a big long thing. And this is really what these are made for. I'm, I carve signs with it. I don't do it a lot because I just have the little two amp hour batteries. But this is perfect. So I'm just going to leave probably leave this in here until further notice because uh, it's great for doing edging. So I've just got my 45 degree chamfer bit in and I'm going to do a, a heavy bevel all the way around. Um, yeah, and I like uh, I like the base plate on here, so I can really have a good surface, a lot less chance for it to uh, tip on me. So let me find the switch here. We <laughs> gotta find the thing. Nice and easy, good little bevel uh, or heavy bevel on there. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the sign off camera. Then I'll put a little bevel on the edge and then we'll come back and we'll spray. So now we're going to go ahead and spray this thing. I'm just going to use the primer. Uh, I could use any of my black spray, but the primer is just what I have handy. So this one's a little bit different than what my normal process is. The customer, oh, by the way, the, um, the same customer that I did video 408. So go back and watch that one. That's the one where I put the end of the board on, uh, the, I cut off the address and put an extra board on the end um, with pocket hole screws and glue. Anyway, so you'll notice that one is, I think it's red and blue. And he's going to do the same thing to this, but he wants me to do the edges black and um, then leave the front uh, completely unfinished. It's going to paint it red and blue. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the edges black. And I don't. I could. I could get this black in the background there. It wouldn't really matter since he's just going to paint the whole thing red and blue. But um, I just don't see 
uh, I just, I don't want any black in that background. So I took a few minutes and masked it all off. Anyway, so that's all I'm doing there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of it off camera. I'll come back and then we'll sand uh, the little bit of black on there. We'll sand that off. Then we'll go into the finishing. So it's time to sand. I've already done the back and again, you guys, you know, over the last few weeks, the last few months, I've really fallen in love with this disc sander. This has got an 80 grit on it. I wouldn't really have to sand the front of this. I just like, I like sanding with this thing, so I'm gonna take the opportunity. So all I'm really gonna do is just take that black off of there. But again, they're gonna be painting it uh, red and blue, I think. Anyway, I'll just do a little section of this, kind of show you how I use this disc sander, that it, uh, and hopefully I won't hit the edge of these letters. Here we go. Man, I love that sander. Okay, so again, guys, we're making signs. I'm not making fine furniture. If I was making fine furniture and I needed a perfectly flat surface, I wouldn't be using this. But for a sign, I think it's plenty good enough. Now I could go back uh, and I might do that. I haven't decided yet whether I'm gonna go back with my a uh, random orbital with like a 120 and just kind of smooth that out but I'll go ahead and finish this up with uh, with this 80 grit and the disc off camera and then we'll come back and uh, then all we've got to do is finish it okay folks so here's what we got um, the customer wanted to do something a little bit different I can't remember whether I've mentioned it before but he wants to paint the front of the sign I think red and blue and he wants me to put a finish on the edges and the back but the problem and and leave the un, the front unfinished the problem with that I, I don't really like that idea from a standpoint that um, and I'm, I, all I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna seal it up with this and then I will go back with the gosh I'm all over the place I'm gonna go back with the critter sprayer but let me back up the reason I don't like just finishing the edges and the back is because from a moisture standpoint I want the whole thing sealed up all the way around um, because wherever it's not sealed up moisture could attack it so that being said i'm going to do the front and the back and uh and the edges and then it will just be sealed up all the way around and then he can paint the part that he wants but like i say i am just doing i'm just doing a seal coat here and then the uh, the edges and the the back after I get done with this I will do with the critter sprayer and put a good critter two or three coats of the czar with the critter sprayer I don't know if this thing will swing all the way around by the way the wind is really howling out here today I've got wind blocks up and um, wearing the microphone yeah yeah don't jinx me. <laughs> but um, in case you guys are wondering, yes, this is oil base, and I'm going to put Czar over the top of it on the edges and the back. But I've done that before, and it actually works pretty well. I've never had any issues with it. So this is just a quick seal coat. And uh, then I will, let me spin it one more time. 
and I'll set it up so you guys can get it. I didn't get both ends? I thought I did. This end? Maybe I didn't. Ooh, good. Good eye, good catch. You just wanted to smell that some more. All right. So now I'll just set it down here. And there it is. Let me get back behind here. So that is it, guys. Um, I could do the critter sprayer on here, but I'll put across the screen other videos where I've showed the critter sprayer and the czar, and uh, th that way you guys can go check those out. The, w the way the wind is blowing, it's supposed to get windier as the day goes on, and uh, it's just crazy blowing out here. So. That is it for this one. I hope you guys like it. I hope this was helpful. I know I, I could have possibly got this all in one video, but it was just to cram all that in one long video, I'd rather break it up into two, make it a little bit easier to watch them individually. So thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. If you need any supplies, there's the website. If you have a question for Vicki, it's Vicki with DaveSigns.com at Gmail. No, Vicky with Dave Signs at Gmail.com. That, that's, that's correct. Anyway, um, if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe. And don't forget to click that little bell icon because we do four new videos every week. And we got lots more coming. So 2020 is turning out to be a great year. Exciting stuff, really exciting stuff coming up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Forget it. I, I almost forgot. You guys are seeing this on Monday. Um, on Wednesday, we will be doing a really short video in the morning, but then a live at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Vicki and I are going to be with the Gwinnett Woodworking Association out in Lawrenceville, Georgia, doing a demo. Super excited about that. So um, if you guys can tune into that, great. If not, it'll be on the channel for later on. Um, and I'm planning a, a little short video for Wednesday morning. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but... Uh, anyway, maybe an announcement or something. Anyway, guys, love you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.